Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly uh, wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good day of trading. Uh, market again does does its thing, right? Continues to do its thing. Uh, first and foremost, before we get started, let me be the first person to uh, wish you guys an early, happy, and healthy Thanksgiving. I know slowly but surely, as the week starts to uh, prolong, more people are going to be traveling. We're taking some days off for enjoying yourselves, enjoying the early festivities. So I just want to wish you guys a happy and healthy. For the rest of you degenerates, uh, just like me and everybody else uh, that is listening to the broadcast, welcome aboard, guys. If you are brand new, guys, the only thing we ask is like, right? Like, share, subscribe to the channel, and we will hopefully continue uh, to provide uh, good value. Let me know if you heard this before. Market is strong. Right, market is strong. Um, the the analogy that you hear on social media, and again, granted, this could be from random people. Uh, the idea that the market sucks it, it's very very tough to digest. Uh, the Qs are up uh, nearly forty seven percent for the year. Okay, I guess that statement holds some water depending uh, what you are trading or how you trade. But if you if your focus in the, is the NASDAQ 100, it doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. Not even close to sucking. As a matter of fact, again, 47% year to date is kind of a big deal. And when you see the leadership, the leadership keeps on uh, going higher, getting aggressive, more uh, speculation money is coming in, further, uh, further out of the money uh, call buyers are coming in, really, really aggressive uh, institutional uh, contribution to this tape. You have to really, really like what we are. Again, I, I always try to remind, uh, especially the new traders, you know, this could go away and, and on a snap of a finger. Just again, all you need to do is go back into uh, history. But for now, uh, let's just enjoy it, right? Let's just absolutely enjoy it. Every single day, uh, we come in prepared uh, to make sure we don't get caught off guard, to make sure, a, you know, a, a kind of a, a blow-off rounding scenario doesn't start to form. That's why we're always ready on both sides of the market. But uh, going into especially the Thanksgiving holiday, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to see. People are just happy, right? People are happy. Investors are happy. Uh, traders are happy. It's it's a greater feeling. It's a much better, good-hearted feeling when holiday time, everybody's in a good mood versus uh, last year when uh, 2022, uh, people wanted to, to 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 you know carve out their own eyeballs instead of the turkey. Uh, of the dismantling the, the market was having. And, uh, you know, going into uh, 2023, nobody knew what to expect after a 36% uh, debacle on the queues. And we're getting it. You know, we're getting it. We're, we made back uh, we made back everything from last year, uh, another 10% above it. And now we have, what, another month left to the year. So pretty damn cool. Uh, absolutely cool. Uh, if you watched uh, last night's video or the weekend video, you know, I gave you guys a couple of levels on the queues, we were watching for potential back test uh, below this 383. Again, all you have to do is just go to go to the weekend video uh, from yesterday on 383 to the downside. We talked about uh, 387.75 to the upside. As you can see, the queues confirmed three uh, 387.75 confirmed last week's highs, and we basically closed within 50 cents of euphoria, right? Euphoria. And if you look at the weekly view, right? We look at the weekly view. Uh, the market took out. Uh, the July 2023 highs. This is now the whole the, the the highest close in this whole formation since July. And if you look at the monthly chart, right, the monthly chart, we're not that far off from all time highs. Again, you know, all time highs are 408, uh, 71 on the QQQs. Can they, you know, muster enough uh, juice to to get there? Yeah, we'll see. But right now, uh, the same formula keeps on working. Strong stocks. If they dip in the morning, continue to buy them into rising 60-minute support. That's what we did today uh, with Amazon and wait for tight channels to break. Uh, that's what we did today with NVIDIA. We'll talk about NVIDIA in a second. So overall, uh, pretty cool. All right, pretty cool. And hopefully, hopefully all you guys who are uh, watching this broadcast continue to get 
uh, great value from our broadcast. Again, if you want to uh, learn pivots, I know there's a lot of people supposedly showing the PS60 theory online. I'm not sure how, but okay. Uh, but we are the only ones who trade the PS60 theory, at least the proper way. Um, and if you are interested in pivots and you're kind of like stuck in that neutral space uh, in your career, starting your career, uh, again, you know, I, I know I've, I've, I've had this conversation with a number of people uh, that, that joined the webinar and they're like, yo, you guys were talking to me on Twitter for 10, 12 years. Why did it take so long? Well, I'm lazy and this, guys, don't be lazy. Take 30 days, see how these pivots work, see if it's a right fit for you. Uh, believe me, you'll never look at the market the same way. Again, it's a completely proprietary way of looking at the market. Uh, and it's pretty darn good. Okay, it's pretty darn good. So let's talk about the tape, right? Obviously, blah, 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 cues are, go, you know, cues are higher. That's great. Uh, the focus uh, going into tomorrow was is NVIDIA, right? We talked about a potential run-up, uh, you know, for, for the last two, three days, potential run-up into uh, their earnings. Yeah, they ran today. They ran today. And not only did they run today, they took out some pretty big levels. They took out uh, the 499.60, that was last week's highs. And they also took out the 502.66. Uh, those are the highs from August that we talked about. And this is now the highest close in this whole formation. I think this is the all-time high close in the regular session. I know it traded last quarter to 520 uh, after hours into earnings. But I think this is the close, this is the all-time high on a closing basis. What's crazy about what we're seeing on the video today, after this now... You know, keep this in mind. The stock has run from the 1031 lows from 392 to, to 505, right? It's right now it's trading almost 506 after hours. Uh, but the crazy part about it is after this three-week move, guys, if all you guys don't have an, uh, an option scanner, if they were coming for the 550 calls today with size, you know, going into tomorrow's earnings, like it was the last day, like it was panic buying, like it was the last day to buy uh, to buy calls. It was, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, we even saw some, I think we even saw a 600 call uh, being bet. But I, I'll tell you one thing, with all the money flow going into into NVIDIA, um, you know, we don't know. And I said this in, on, on the weekend video, we don't know uh, if the, the, the earnings are going to be baked into the next potential move. But boy, oh boy, those call buyers are really, really aggressive. Uh, and they're looking basically for another 10% move on earnings. We'll see if they're right. You know, we'll absolutely see what they're right. But today uh, was pretty awesome. Uh, NVIDIA closed out, uh, confirmed, excuse me, a pretty big level, the August highs. And we took it for a nice ride. I still have a little bit of a runner, very, very tiny little runner uh, overnight. Um, I'm trying to sell it. By the time you guys see this broadcast, I'm hoping the stock is like 507, 508. I'd like to kind of get rid of it. But uh, tomorrow night, uh, they, tomorrow night, they, uh, come out with earnings and we will see what the reaction is. Another name, right? Another name that is getting close. And, you know, this is the one I want to talk about, right? So Tesla, if you've been following this broadcast, again, you kind of know this is my favorite stock. Um, it's had some pretty good orderly moves. It took out this whole range here. It had this big move here. It reclaimed the 50-day moving average, had another monster move, lost the 50-day moving average, had a nice short to the downside, filling in this gap. And now we're kind of just just straddling the five-day moving average. Now, why is this coming into play? Why am I so uh, gung-ho about the stock? Well, it's the options market, right? So every pretty much every stock right now is in orbit, right? No matter what stock you're looking at. Guys, there were buyers coming in today, okay? When the stock was like 232, 233, there were buyers coming in today for the, five, uh, to the 240s, the 245s, for the 250 weeklies and then the 250 weeklies next week with a lot of size, right? With a lot of size, considering the stock is still below the 50 day moving average, considering uh, this was th these bets were 10, 12, $15 out of the money, especially for this week, right? When the stock was at uh, 232 today, 233, they were coming for the 245, 247, 50 weekly calls. Uh, calls. Considering we have a, uh, considering we are off on Thursday, and considering we only have a half day on Friday, they're basically taking a two and a half day rental for 13, 10 to 13 points out of the money. Hey, again, as the old adder says, do they, so does somebody know something? I don't know if somebody knows anything, but what we do know is the 50 day moving average is right over here, right guys? It's right over here. We're not that far off, okay? Uh, this is the area that we wanna see Tesla reclaim. If it could reclaim the 50 day moving average, 
I think it's going to start to stretch. Now, again, is there is it guaranteed to, to reclaim the 50-day? Of course not. Absolutely. This is actually one of the few, very few names that are still sitting below the 50-day moving average. But boy, oh boy, guys, watch Tesla in the next couple of days, especially if they continue to come with the 240, 245, 250 weeklies with literally two and a half, two and a half days, uh, 10, 12 points out of the money. Again, that gets my attention all the time. So we're going to watch it, right? We're definitely going to watch Tesla if it can reclaim the 50-day moving average in the next day or so. Because if it does, guys, all you need to do it. And the 50-day moving average is this little light blue line here. Guys, look, I just want to give you guys several examples of what happens when a stock reclaims the 50-day, right? For all you guys who are new, right? So the Qs reclaimed the 50-day moving average on November the 2nd, okay? They went from 363 the 391. Okay, this is just reclaiming the 50 day. Uh, Amazon reclaimed the 50 day moving average on October the 30th. It went from uh, 133. The stock right now is at 146. Nvidia reclaimed the 50 day moving average right over here. Okay, on the on November the 2nd. Okay, it went from 428, and the stock right now is at five, almost at 506 half hours. You get the picture. That's what we need Tesla to do, right? We need Tesla to reclaim this light blue line. If it can reclaim this light blue line, boy, oh boy, I think this damn thing could start stretching. And that's definitely one uh, you definitely want to keep an eye on. Uh, other names we definitely want to watch uh, for the next day or so. Um, some consolidation channels, which are pretty good here. Uh, let's talk about some names here. Look at Target, right? Target came out with earnings uh, last week. It's just going sideways, just a matter of time. Remember, the DDOG chart, right? You guys remember the DDOG chart? Chart stock was just going sideways and then finally just erupted. Well, look at Target. Same, look at Target. Same chart, right? Target's exactly the same chart. Just a matter of time when it finally gets above earnings highs. But if it does, uh, this thing looks pretty damn good. Uh, look at Home Depot, right? Home Depot is another name. The stock gapped up. It's going sideways. If it could just get above this channel here, right? If it could just reclaim this linear regression line, this thing could wake up as well. Keep an eye on that. Uh, look at a name like Letter U, right? Letter U as well. It reclaimed the 50-day moving average a couple of days ago, but never, never confirmed it. Guys, watch for the confirmation for the next couple of days on Letter U. If it could reclaim back the 50-day moving average, it could start its run as well. So that looks pretty good as well. As you guys know, for you guys in the crypto space, uh, Bitcoin is going nuts. All this crypto is going nuts. Guys, look at Mara, right? Look at Mara. If you guys remember, we talked about Coinbase on the weekend video, right? Coinbase, Coinbase went absolutely nuts. Look at Mara, right? Look how close Mara is from, from waking up here. Keep an eye on this thing as well. Uh, if the bulls start to, uh, you know, continue this crypto uh, crypto charge, it looks very, very good. So tomorrow, uh, again, obviously, uh, NVIDIA comes out with earnings. Is this move already priced in? We don't know. Is this move going to be, uh, is this move going to be sold after they come out with earnings? We don't know. It's all speculation. Don't let anybody fill your head that they know what's going to happen with the stock. Again, like I said a couple of days ago, I could literally be holding, right here, literally be holding Tesla's, uh, NVIDIA's earnings report in front of my face, reading it. And I still don't know how the stock is going to react after earnings and nobody does either. But the point is the move has been made. Uh, hopefully, you know, we get the, you know, hopefully I want to, you know, if it could get the 507, 508 today after the close, I'll be more than happy to get rid of it. Uh, but tomorrow, uh, my attention is definitely on Tesla. I'm also watching uh, AMD, see if it can kind of get above last week's range as well. So we have a lot of names uh, we are definitely watching. But keep this in mind, folks. It is our shortened holiday season. Uh, I'm guessing by tomorrow afternoon, maybe early Wednesday, you're going to start to see uh, you're going to start to see uh, the volume really dry up because again, this is the busiest uh, travel holiday season. Uh, of the year. So again, guys, for all you guys who are not trading on Wednesday or Thursday, but you are trading tomorrow, let me be again the first person to wish you guys a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. And hopefully uh, the wonderful world that we live in is gentle and kind and sweet to you. And hopefully you can reciprocate back. Guys, God bless. Stay blessed. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.